I'm not one of those people that claims to have social anxiety simply because they find it difficult talking on the phone. Those people are stupid. Everybody sucks at talking on the phone, especially our landlord. I was trying to explain to him that we were changing offices and eventually moving somewhere else. So I was trying to figure out if there was a way to break the lease. I was wondering if it would be possible to, to get out of the lease early, Eddie. I'm planning on moving um, offices to Culver City. Sorry, can you repeat that? You have to move the whole office. You have to, it's very expensive to move it to Culver's. N I'm, I'm not trying to move this office to Culver City. That, that would cost billions, Eddie. You, I'm not to, you want me to pay for it? You have to, uh, I can take a loan. I can take a loan. No, I'm not asking you to pay for it. I'm just. No, I can do it. I'll do it. You will? I will do it. That is badass. Let us do this. Okay. That is badass. First floor. Sometimes when I'm razzing in this, I think of everything that I can take over. Like Japan? Just like Japan. Sometimes I think about how you're late for work and I'm in there first. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come over and talk shop. What's up, dicks? Stop it! Stop it! Now you're on time! What's up, guys? Alright, Eddie, I'll, I'll uh... You scared me in the fucking garage I'll again. Talk to you later, Eddie. Howdy, Eddie! No, we hung up. Why are you Hi. talking to Eddie? I already hung up. Why are you talking to Eddie? No, I haven't told either boy about me selling the company yet. I'm not really sure how to bring it up to them. There's probably just a good time and a place, but it just hasn't come to me yet. So in the meantime, I'm keeping it under wraps until I find that perfect moment. Oh, while I have you guys here, I actually need a bit of a favor. Bring bit of back. a favor. No, no. Normally, I'm game for favors. Normally, I'm gay for favors. But I gave Kib a preliminary no because it's always for help with community service. Your old pal Kib got summoned again for community service. Why this time? That's between me and the kids. Kids? Huh? We'll talk about that later, but I got uniform sent by the judge himself. Judge Bluey. Got you one too, Steve. Uh, what, are, what do we need this for? Get it! Here you go, dude. This one's for you. The problem that I had with the trash grabber Kib gave me was that it was missing the part that grabs trash. Yeah, I was <laughs> hoping you could probably suck stuff up in there, maybe get a... This is really tight. Okay, we're gonna go to the streets, guys. I need to cash in the favor. Autumn, hold down the four. Okay. Let's go clean some trash. An hour in, we hadn't done any work at all. At least I could blame my inefficiency on my trash grabber. Kib and James, on the other hand, were standing idly by, making unproductive conversation amongst themselves. Yeah, sorry, just trying to cut the wire to that powerhouse there. What's up, dude? She's been doing like a PA man. He's been making like these manual tasks and stuff. To be honest, I thought you were being demoted to PA. Am I being demoted? I don't think so. We never had that talk. Can I take something to you this deep? Yeah, of course. You can tell me anything, bruv. I've been talking to this uh, man, agent for acting. We have. Well, I have have we? He's like been able to, he's gonna be able to give me like a movie. You're safe with me, dude. I won't tell Steve anything. I'm really sad about it, but you'll have to break it to him eventually. I will too if I get, you know, some big picture roles, which it looks like I'm getting. Bambi. 
Bambi's interested. I got left behind. I just want you to know that. I didn't see Kib and James leave at all, and they didn't tell me they were leaving. And the answer is yes, I was very excited to go and try and find them. I didn't mind at all that they just left without me. You know, in fact, I prefer it, because that gave me the chance to go search for them. It's like a treasure hunt, featuring the best treasure you could possibly imagine. Two fully grown men. I've actually been thinking about doing some roles myself, if that... Like acting roles? Yeah, the agent Does. of yours knows. Do any other agents you might want to work with me? I'm sure he does. I can talk to him, but I've been kind of avoiding his phone calls. He's a bit of a loose cannon. Because I was thinking, Finding Nemo 3. Finding Kib. You're not a character in any of the other movies. Yeah, but oh, you there's know... A, there's a child approaching us. He's from It Follows. Got any trash? Come back here and throw this out. He's smiley. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Talk to him. I'm allowed to. Oh, you are? Got lifted? <laughs> hey, on three, we run away from him. Yes. One, two, three. Litter bug. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm catching up. Idiot. Wake up, I'm catching up. Oh my god. <laughs> Kip and James still haven't taken me off Fine Friends, so I know where they are at all times. I found the camera in the middle of the road. Alfredo had dropped it. I didn't even know he was joining us today. But I'll be honest, I couldn't stay mad at him because I couldn't find him. He'd taken flight, and Lord knows where he is now. Just kidding, I have him on Fine Friends too. He'd gone to Aleppo. Wow, Alfredo was lost. He dropped the camera back there. Yeah, absolutely did. Come, Come on. out of breath, dude. You are, you are so out of shape. <laughs> Uh, Cecilia. Who's that? Just thinking of it. Wait a sec. He had something there. Cecilia. I think I hear a potential banger. It's been a while since we've made a song, and this just felt like a fresh of breath air. Wait, wait. wait. Cecilia. Wait, wait. Amelia. Holy shit! We knew in our hearts it was time to resurrect the greatest band that has ever existed, and nothing would ever be the same. Oh no, dude! Let's try.